Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Our topic today is about vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with a backbone. The backbone is made up of separate bones called vertebrae. Animals that are vertebrates belong to the chordata phylum. The chordata phylum is divided into five classes. They are fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Let's start with fish. Fish are animals that have a backbone and they have the following characteristics. The backbone of the fish is located at its center. They have scales. Their body is covered in mucus. So that is why they are very slippery. They have a streamlined body. This means that they are pointed at their end. As they are covered with mucus and they have a streamlined body, it is very easy for them to swim in water. F fish have fins for movement and stability, as we can see here. Fish have gills for breathing. A common misconception for students is that they think that fish break down water molecules to get their oxygen for breathing. And that is not true. Fish actually breathe dissolved oxygen in the water. Fish are ectothermic or cold-blooded. This means that their body temperature varies according to their environment. Amphibians are animals which have back limbs longer than front limbs, and this helps them in jumping. They have moist skin, which can be used for gas exchange. Amphibians have no scales, and they are ectothermic. Reptiles have dry, scaly skin, which limits water loss. They also have no glands on their skin. A gland is an organ which secretes chemicals. An example of glands in the human body can be the sebaceous gland on your skin, which releases sebum, which is a chemical made from lipids to lubricate the skin. Reptiles also lay leathery eggs. Birds. Birds have, have feathers which prevent heat loss. They do this by trapping air inside them. Air is an insulator, so it is difficult for heat to flow from the bird's body to the surrounding. They also have four limbs which evolved into wings. So the wings on the birds were limbs before evolution. They have scales on their legs. They also have a streamlined body which helps them move through the air easily. And they have a peak. Birds are endothermic or warm-blooded. This means that they keep constant body temperature. Mammals have fur to keep constant body temperature as they are endothermic. They have four types of teeth, incisors, molars, premolars, and canines. We'll talk about those later in next videos. They also have mammary glands. These glands are used to produce milk in female mammals. They have a diaphragm which help them in breathing. They give birth to a fully formed young, and they are endothermic. Humans are mammals. Our fact for today is about the largest animal. It is the blue whale. It weighs 200 tons and is 25 meters in length. Today we learned that vertebrates phylum is divided into five classes and that fish, amphibians, and reptiles are ectothermic, mammals, birds are endothermic, and that humans are mammals. Thank you all guys for watching. Hope you have a great day today and see you all next time.